hello guys in this video we are going to see how can we apply for the master's course at the university of Saarland or the Saarland university which is in germany i will be showing you how do we how can we apply for the master's course of embedded system which is msc in embedded systems at the university so guys welcome to the channel this is vikas and let's start So guys this is the university's official website over here you will you can see everything related to the study research university and every, every and guys whatever website i am showing you right now every link is in the description box so you can click on those links as well directly to land up on this website so after this uh, we i'm going to show you the dart website yes this is the dart website uh, basically on this website you will see the overview and the course details and everything regarding the particular course that is the embedded systems msc fine and uh, it is a four semester course so you will need two years master's course basically it is a two years of master's course the language of instruction will be in english so no no need of german language obviously you have to learn german uh, in case you want to work after your masters in germany okay so uh, there are two intakes winter and summer intake uh, the deadline for summer intake was 15th november and the deadline for winter intake is 15th may it is a public university guys and you know that in germany public universities has zero fees zero tuition fees so over here you can see there is no tuition fee as such but you have to pay a semester contribution of 280 euros per semester which will also include a semester ticket that will cover your public transport in the city okay and approximate cost of living in the city will be around 800 euros per month which uh, the block account will cover then talking about the requirements what all documents you need to upload at the time of application so all these are the documents so first of all you will need a cover letter stating why you want to join the program basically this is the letter of motivation or statement of purpose lor or sop then uh, cv then your degree certificates passing certificates whatever you have all the certified copies of all your degrees then full transcript of all those degrees completed and you are going to, or you going to complete them then two letter of recommendations from two referees either your professors or your work uh, manager ideally uh, if you uh, have no work experience uh, they should be your professors if you have work experience then one from your work professor will be good and one from your uh, sorry one from your work manager and one from your uh, college professor and then a lingu english language proficiency certificate uh, it can be ilts or toefl or cp or cae whatever then gre okay so gre is recommended but it's not mandatory so if in case you have your gre scores in hand be uh, so make sure that you apply i mean you upload those details or documents but if you don't have it's not an issue so it's a prestigious university and the course is highly competitive so if you have gre it will be a plus point but um, if you don't have it it's not an issue so don't worry about that uh, again the application deadlines are given here so let us go to the university's official course website so first we saw the university website now i'll show you the of uh, the course website of embedded systems so um, that website is okay but uh, you must always always follow the official website of the universities you are applying to so over here you will get to see every detail you need uh, to see before applying what all requirements and what details or what documents you need uh, at the time of application uh, the application portal uh, application portal also uh, okay so these are the details so guys uh, i'll i'll go to the course website so after clicking on the course website i'll end up on this page okay so this is the page uh, so i'll apply for the embedded systems course and uh, this is under the salen informatics campus informatics campus has uh, this many courses so this is the catalog of the courses under the informatics campus of Saarland University. 
uh, and Sarlen universities for information i'll tell you that this is a very decent university in fact it is a very pre- prestigious university for the core subjects like computer science data science artificial intelligence um, embedded systems uh, cyber security so visual computing as well so this is a good universities if you talk about computer science okay then i'll apply to the embedded systems program so i'll click on this application guide and land up on this page okay so on this web page it's given that how can you apply for the course every every details uh, every detail has been mentioned uh, what documents you need and all again and again uh, so i'll just start the process so, okay i'll click over here uh, online application system so guys i have already applied for the course uh, before but i'll show you how can you apply so okay the application process is in two steps first of all you have to uh, do the pre-registration part so after doing your pre-registration part you will get a username and password using that login credentials you have to do the step two which is uploading of the files uh, or the documents so first of all i'll show you the pre-registration so this is the pre-registration page uh it is a pretty simple step i suppose uh first of all uh, you need to write your first choice of your degree or your or your master subject or your master's course for me it is embedded systems okay guys now one thing to keep in mind that if you want to apply for multiple courses at the university of saarland they have given you the option of doing that so uh, you just have to select the other course over here or the second priority so first of all select your first priority it will be a first priority choice or a first choice for the masters uh, for example if you want to choose as computer science as your first choice and the second choice you want to choose that data science and artificial intelligence so make sure that that uh, whenever you are selecting more than one course or so basically two choices first priority and second priority so you have to upload two separate sops or statement of purpose for me i am just applying for the embedded systems course i don't i'm not applying for any other course so i have to apply only apply i mean i have to upload only one sop but if you are applying for more than one uh, course you have to make sure that you have two different sops and again you are applying for the 2022 winter term i mean i am applying for that so i'll select that and the research interest so guys if you are from if you want to pursue your masters in computer science or in visual computing you have to mention your research interest over here uh, you can type in over here what research uh, interest uh, you f- i mean what what is your research interest and uh, everything every detail about what you want to do uh, at the time of your masters because it is a uh, very highly recognized university every detail mentioned over here is uh, very important okay coming to the personal information okay a disclaimer whatever information you are uh, writing over here make sure that every information is according to your passport for example if your first name is your first name and your father's name in your passport so you have to write it according to that don't just write your first name uh you have to write uh, whatever it is mentioned in your passport same stands for your last name and every everything else so the step is pretty simple gender then nationality date of birth and all and correspondence address again uh, it should be something which i mean your permanent address or your residential address wherever you are living right now in the in case they want to contact you and all then current degree so what degree you are doing uh, you have done um, before applying for this course so in my case it was this the grade pointer whatever it is or your percentage from the university and the country the university name and country and if you are in the final year of your studies and you want to apply for the fall intake so you have to fill in those these details like expected degree okay so over here you have you also have to mention the expected date of your degree uh, for example it is uh, it can be june or july of 2022 okay so i have already completed my degree last year uh, so i won't be writing any expected degree details again and then language proficiency you can uh, mention your language proficiency results uh, toefl ielts cae or cp uh, you just have to write the test name and whatever score or band you have over here 
now the final step and the one of the most important step i would say your references or your letter of re, uh, letter of recommendations so you have to write the uh, write the details about your references or your authors of the letter of recommendations uh, they might be your professors your college professor university professors or if you are working somewhere uh, they might be uh, he or she might be your work manager or your senior as well so uh, you have uh, you can you have to write every detail over here but at the end you can see uh, email id okay so make sure that whatever email id you are writing over here for both the professor it should be up to the mark i mean it should be valid and uh, the professors or the work manager are using that email id because the university uh, the university application or uh, the admission council will send a email to the respective referee and the referee or the author of your letter of recommendation will have to uh, send your letter of recommendation on that email or on that link so the email ids you are mentioning over here should be valid so uh, these are the two details so after submitting it so i have already filled the document i mean i have already done, done this process so i won't be submitting it again but after submitting this page or uh, doing your first step of pre registration uh, the sec you will get a user id and a password so i got it and uh, using those login credentials i'll i'll can be upload the files so i'll show how to do that okay so you will get a email, your your email id will be your user id in most of the cases uh, and your and they will give a password they will generate a password for you there all there will also be a email id confirmation on your email whatever you have provided so using this login credentials i will then log in so the first step was done of pre registration now the second step is of uploading the files so you will see this page every detail that you have mentioned earlier in the first step now over here you can see uh, okay that's just a second okay uploading of files so first of all the files must be of pdf format and every file should not exceed the limit of 10 mb and uh, and five five documents are needed first of all transcript of records so the transcript of record should be from the university of col or college uh, and along with that uh, just um, merge your passing certificate or degree certificate as well with that um, pdf second your cv then your statement of purpose again if you are applying for multiple courses like earlier i told you how to do that so if you are applying for two master courses make sure that you have two sops to be connected or to be uploaded then your la english language proficiency test uh, the, then at the end other qualifications uh, it will include a merge pdf will include your uh, any publications or research work any certifications you have done or any award you have received um, award or awards you have received and uh, any internship certificates and any work experience certificates every other document should be merged into one file it should be under 10 mb and upload it over here okay so this is the entire process so i have uploaded all the documents you can see everything is in green ex except these two things uh, because my let uh, referees haven't uh, uploaded the letter of recommendations yet uh, they are going to do it tomorrow so after that even these two things will be in green so this is the complete process of applying to the university of saarland for the course of embedded systems and you can apply for any other courses exactly like this i don't think that any different document is needed for that and uh, with that said guys this is the entire process i hope everyone is okay with it and you won't face any problems but if in case you face any problems related to the application process for this university or in or face problem in any other university you are applying to in germany don't feel and don't feel shy to approach me do comment in the comment box i'll make sure that uh, i'll help you out and uh, you can also contact me on my instagram this is my instagram id you can also ping me here do follow on me on instagram do subscribe to the channel like the video share to the ones who actually need it and do uh, also watch my previous videos wherein i have uploaded uh, the application processes 
for other universities other public universities from germany and the recent video was related to the erasmus mundus scholarship it is a full ride scholarship please do watch that video it's very important i mean it's very prestigious university and that university covers everything every every expenses you need at the time of your masters including your tuition fee and your living expenses as well and even your flight tickets and all so you watch that video you can apply for any of the erasmus mundi scholarship not just that uh, which i have uploaded it i mean i have up- applied to you can apply to any other course as well so the process is very similar so guys thank you thanks again also thanks for your previous responses on my videos with that said guys thanks a lot again and again i am saying this and uh, like this video share this video subscribe to the channel and bye bye all the best